Hey guys, I want to talk about the relationship between your glycogen stores and your electrolytes when you're doing the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. Let's start off with what is glycogen. Glycogen is a series of glucose molecules hooked together, linked together as a group, okay? It's stored uh, carbohydrate. It's kind of like a similar to a starch where there's a bunch of um, sugar molecules uh, stuck together. Um, the same thing with your body. You have this stored in your liver and your muscles, just a, a stored form of sugar, okay? In order to store this, you need potassium too. So that's, we'll come back to that in a second. Now, when you're actually um, doing higher carbohydrates, you have a higher amount of the glycogen reserve. Um, now, some people that have more muscle mass, that work out, that do higher carbohydrates, hold even more. Anyway, when you have more glycogen, you're gonna hold more water. You can kind of look at it like a sponge, okay? And then when you do the keto, okay, low carb, and intermittent fasting, you drop insulin, this goes away. I mean, this, this shrinks down considerably, not 100%, but it goes way down. So guess what? There goes the water, and also there goes some of the electrolytes. And this is where you may have symptoms in transitioning from sugar burning to fat burning, especially if you don't have those in the reserve sitting there. And if you're not consuming enough vegetables, enough sea salt for the electrolytes. So when you deplete these minerals, okay, like sodium, you could feel uh, like your muscles are weaker, okay? You just, like you're working out and you don't have the strength. Um, you get keto flu. You get dizzy because the volume of fluid is not there because you don't have the, the sodium, so you, you don't have the water, so you have basically low blood pressure. So if you stand up too fast, you get a little dizzy, okay? So you need to increase more sodium, salt, sea salt, and definitely you can have low blood pressure there. Now also, if you have low potassium, you can be fatigued, you can have heart arrhythmia problems, sleeping problems, because potassium helps you sleep. Potassium is needed to create energy, and also to make you feel calm when you're sleeping. It's also necessary to make stomach acids as well. Um, without potassium, you can have a higher pulse rate. Calcium is low. That You can notice that in your calves. You have cramping in the calves. Um, it could be calcium or magnesium, possibly potassium, and maybe sometimes sodium, but mainly calcium or magnesium. So if you're low in magnesium, your sleeping's gonna be off. That's why they have a lot of supplements uh, with magnesium for sleep. Uh, and then the heart rhythm is not going to be that great too, because this is a key for the rhythm of the heart. Okay. So, and there's a lot of other symptoms as well. So when you're doing keto, you're going to need more electrolytes usually, and more vegetables, and you're going to need probably a little bit more water because when you consume more salt, you're going to be a little bit thirsty. A lot of you are taking this right here, electrolyte powder. Now, if you're an athlete or you're working outside a lot and you're sweating, Okay, and you're losing more salt, you're gonna have to add more sea salt to this because I didn't put a lot of sodium in here because most people have enough sodium. What they don't have is enough potassium. This has a thousand milligrams of potassium citrate per serving size. So it has a lot of the other electrolytes, but not this one right here. So again, uh, an average person needs this because they're usually deficient in these other minerals. But if you're also an athlete or you sweat a lot, then you would need this plus more sea salt, and then you're gonna be good. All right, thanks for watching. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I wanna quickly comment on what we're gonna do that's different from other conventions, okay? The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload, okay? It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. Uh, we're going to do things very differently. We're only going to cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now, there are three very powerful strategies that we're going to be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm going to be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory and concentration that's going to blow you away. And number two, I'm going to show you how to increase your stress tolerance so you are completely calm all the time, all right? And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time, and everything is kind of just really slow, 
I'm going to show you how to get complete control over your metabolism so you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're going to learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up, and I will see you in October.